To demonstrate this, isolate the newly created object and then in edge mode bridge some of the gaps that got created. In areas where polygons seem stretched, you can connect edges to add another detail loop. This can be done by selecting a ring of edges and connecting them midpoint to midpoint. Other corrections that can take place include using Auto Smooth at a polygon or element level, so the shading across the surface is more consistent. Bridge the gap between the fender and the door. Do the same between the fender and the hood. Add detail by chamfering the connection between the fender and the hood. Add also some extra detail around the wheel well using the chamfer tool. When you use the chamfer tool, you need to be careful that the integrity of the quad polygons is not compromised. In some cases, some vertex welding is necessary. Continue adjusting the geometry using regular polygon editing tools such as shift moving edges, welding vertices and smoothing polygons. Adding a turbo smooth modifier at the top of the stack now shows the end results. As you can see, the topology tool is quite useful to extract low poly models from high poly geometry. Once the basic quad model is created, then it becomes easy to fine tune it using poly editing tools that would not work properly on many imported meshes.